Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football with Mike Lucas. It was a 6 o'clock kickoff last Saturday night in Lake Charles as the Lions battled Knight East State. It's a big game for our program, being a Southland Conference uh, game of the week on television. Always big be televised. Uh, a lot of weapons on the offensive side of the ball for McNeese. is a big play there by Nathan Clofus, big tackle. Uh, defense played, fired up early, came after him. This was a, a third down play, and we've got to make the tackle. We had a couple tackles there. If we make the tackle, he doesn't make the first down. Their quarterback uh, makes made good throws all night. That was a, a coverage that we should have had the corner rolled down, and he, he didn't get down soon enough. Uh, screen pass to uh, Champlain Babin. We get him run out of bounds again. The corner's got to come up and set that thing so he can't get outside. And then we, uh, we stop him on their drive, and uh, they settle for a field goal. They kick off. Kickoff goes out of bounds, puts our offense in good field position. This is a big throw and catch here on a third down play, but uh, Brian really got smoked by the blitzing linebacker, and I think it affected him uh, for the rest of the ball game. His shoulder was really bothering him, sent him out of the game here. Tyler Beatty comes in for a couple snaps, try to get uh, Brian's wits back about him. We punt the ball to them. We blitzed and they threw a hot route in the void to their tight end. Here's a draw play. Great play by Brian Reynolds to tackle the draw and to strip the ball out. And Nathan Clofus recovers a fumble. Jasper had another big night for us. Very nice run there by Jasper. He had a hit pointer at halftime, came back in the second half and played injured. There's Brian throwing it in the end zone, trying to take a shot in there to get it to Merrick. He's out of bounds. Couldn't get his foot down on this one. He's barely out of bounds. Again, a nice run by Jasper. He gets outside. We get the ball down to the two yard line and uh, they blitz a linebacker, knock the ball out of Brian's hand and uh, McNeese recovers a fumble. So we really lose an opportunity there with uh, first and goal in the two. Run play by their tailback Champlain Babin. They're starting tailback. Uh, Penland tried to play, but I think he had one carry for two yards and couldn't go. Then we bust a coverage here. Our corner's on top of the tight end, and uh, tight end gave him an outside head fake, and he bit on the head fake. Puts us down 10 zip. And then Brian on a little scramble tries to dump the ball to Merrick and uh, their safety undercuts the route and picks it off. Again, uh, their tailback Champlain Babin. We did a good job, held him under 100 yards, held him to their lowest uh, rushing total for the season. Good job there by Steven Pashinsky, playing defensive tackle for us. Then they do a little half roll here and they throw the ball back to the tight end for a touchdown. We got to stay high with our backside defensive end. Should have had a sack. Throwing the ball to Zeke Jones in the flat. Throw it to uh, Andre Cryer. McNeese was playing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. We're trying to take advantage of that. Here's a throw to Corey Theodore. Here's a throw to Simi on the slant. Simi bounces off the defender and runs it in for a touchdown. Nice drive by our offense. Picking at the man-to-man -man coverage. We had tons of fans there, a very nice crowd. For us over there, a lot of Lion fans. Here's an uh, ISO play. We need to spill that with a linebacker. Linebacker came outside the fullback. He needs to come inside the fullback on that play. Again, we lose our perimeter edge player. He's got to come up outside and turn that back in. 
They try a little flea flicker. This was a great play by Curtis Strong. Even though he gets beat deep, he comes back and gets his hand in, knocks the ball out of the receiver's hands. Little shovel pass to Zeke. It was well defended by their nose guard, Lighton, Desmond Lighton, very good player. Here we are, defensive line making a nice stop on their tailback. And uh, they roll the snap back to the punter. We felt like we had an advantage coming off of uh, the left edge. And we get to tackle the ball on the 23-yard uh, line, forcing a bad snap by their punter. And then on the first play, we throw the ball right back to him again. Uh, an interception. Again, throwing the ball to the flat to Zeke, and the linebacker read it and undercut it. Here's a quarterback draw again. You can see the athleticism of their quarterback. And uh, for a touchdown, puts us down 24-7. Our offense comes back. This is a play where Simi rolled his ankle and uh, was in a lot of pain. We'll have to see if we can get that rehabbed and get him back this week for the Central Arkansas game. Throw the ball to flat to uh, true freshman Greg Johnson, who comes in to take Simi's place. And then uh, Chris Wilson really came on here in this quarter, had a, had a couple big catches. Very nice job on the slant. And uh, just with a few seconds left in the half, back shoulder throw here from uh, Brian to Chris for the touchdown. Very nice throw, very nice catch. A lot of timing involved in that, in that pass route. So that puts us 24-14 uh, to 14 at halftime, down by 10. Huge score at the end of the half. It's 24 to 14. Not your best half of football, but you're only down by 10 to a very good football team. Yeah, we uh, you know have the ball first and goal in the two and, and fumble the ball and don't get any points. And then we have it again on the uh, 23 and don't get any points. You know, we've got to take care of the football. We've got to get points when we're in the green zone like that. But uh, it was a big drive by Brian in the offense and uh, Chris Wilson to get that touchdown right before the half. 